When you're analyzing data in a pivot table, you can use filters to focus on a specific part of the data. Here we have products and the total sales for each product. If we'd like to focus on our best-selling products, we can use a value filter. I'll click the drop-down arrow and from the pop-up menu, go to Value Filters and go down to Top 10. In the dialog box, I'm going to go with Top. I want to see the top products and then I can set a number. So I would like to see just the top five. So I'll go down to five. I'm interested in the top five items and look at them by sales. And when I click OK, only the top five products are showing. You can go back in and edit that filter. If I go back to value filters and top 10, I could change it to look at just the top three. And there they are. We can also, instead of looking at the top, go back to value filters. And let's see what the worst selling products are. So I'll select bottom three and click OK. And these are the products with the lowest sales. To clear the filter, I can go back to the drop down menu and click clear filter from product and everything shows up again. Another way that we can use that top 10 value filter is to look at the top 10. And instead of items, we could look at the top 10%. Now, if we look at our pivot table, we can see that we have about 660,000 in sales. So 10% of that would be about 66,000. So we're going to see the top items that make up at least 10% of our sales. So I'll click OK. And so it only takes one item to make up more than 10% of our sales. If I go back in to value filters, I could change that and say, well, what makes up the top 15 or 20? So we'll make 20. And it's still just one item. And I can clear that to see everything. The final thing that we'll do is look at the value filters again, top 10. And we'll leave it at top. And this time we're going to, instead of items or percent, we'll look at sum. So we want to see which items would make up a certain amount in our sales. So which items, which of our top selling items would make at least, let's say, 300,000. So I'll type the amount that I want to see and click OK. And our top three items make up at least 300,000. 